Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. Uh, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon account. You guys feel free to become members. We we'll appreciate. We're very grateful to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far and those that are yet to subscribe. Don't hesitate to subscribe. I mean, it doesn't take that much time. So thank you very much. Thank you for giving us stuff to react to, um, your positive feedback, for watching. We're just very grateful for everything. You can also check out my blog, Morning Coffee with Funny. I have some amazing posts that I've put out there. And yeah, just thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested that I react to why did Islam not abolish slavery so without wasting time let's get into the video they shall not go to jannah hope that's your question yes brother islam has uh, fought in the past and the present also against a lot of number of uh, social ills so one of the most tragic social systems which existed in the past was the slavery system even though islam has uplifted the status of slaves in the past it did not abolish completely the slavery system from the earth So we ask a question that Islam has taken away many of the social evils like alcohol, drugs, etc. And one of the great social evil is slavery. And rightly said that Islam was a major benefactor where slavery is concerned. It gave rights to slaves, etc. But why didn't it abolish completely? There are many things that were abolished by Islam. It came in stages. Some were abolished on the spot, some in stages. For example, if you know how alcohol was prohibited, it came in stages. The first time Quran speaks about alcohol was for a Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 219, that when they ask the concerning intoxicants and gambling, tell them in it is profit and loss. The loss is more than profit. The first verse regarding intoxicants was that in it is more loss and less profit. It didn't ban it completely. Next verse of intoxicants, Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 43, that do not pray with your mind befogged unless you can understand. That means while praying, you should not have intoxicants. More restriction. And the final prohibition came in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90. It says, Ya yuhal ladhina aman, O you who believe, inna mal khamru al maithuru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, were anzabu al azlamu, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rishtum min amali shaitan. These are Satan's handiwork. Pashtani bulla lakum tuflihun. Abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. After this verse, intoxicants was totally abolished. It was haram for you to have. Now, Slavery was very much ingrained in the culture of the Arabs at that time. So, again, the abolition of slavery came in stages. Initially, Allah SWT says that even they are human beings, give them rights. If you have to marry them in Maher, give them freedom, etc., 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 slowly, slowly. But there are various verses saying the free the slaves, etc., help them, give them charity, etc., but there's no direct verse in the Quran itself which totally prohibits. The reason for the total abolition of slavery was it was supposed to be abolished afterward because it was so much ingrained that most of the things which came as completely, Alhamdulillah, during the time of the Prophet it was fulfilled. But certain things the read scholars have given the comments and they say that this was so much ingrained that Islam set the ball rolling and the final outcome was supposed to take place maybe a few decades or few years after the death of the beloved prophet. Many things took place while he was alive. This abolition of slavery, Islam set the ball rolling and saw to it that it was completed, if not during the time of the prophet, at least after that. Therefore, if you read in the Quran, there are several verses raising the slave, giving them the rights, etc. So it was so much ingrained, it was so much there in the society that it was supposed to be stopped maybe a few years after the death of the beloved prophet. Hope that answers the question. Dr. Zakina, it looks so young. Um, I mean, 
this thing of this issue of slavery i just wish it never happened in the first place but then like he said it's something that was happening during that era so it it was meant for us to go through such not us me but i'm just it was meant for the world to go through such a thing so that they should learn from that as well everything is a learning uh, point in life you just don't go through something without learning something or gaining some sort of lesson so yeah that's that i don't condone slavery not then not when it existed then and not when it still exists now in countries what that are, ought to be independent otherwise this was interesting let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video